When the manager of a failing company got angry, he started to mock and ridicule an elderly homeless cleaning lady. However, what she did next shocked him and left him absolutely speechless. It all started when Mr. Potter began to call daily meetings to shout, rant, and even belittle his team and the people that worked beneath him, telling them it was all their fault that the company was failing and that they needed to find the solution and fast. All the while, Mr. Potter had not come up with so much as a single idea as to how to turn his own nosediving company. It seemed destined to die, and no one knew what steps to take to get it off of life support and functioning properly again. On one particular day, Mr. Potter asked his employees to come up with a 10-point plan to turn the business around and start making profits again. He told them that none of them were going home or even leaving the boardroom until a plan has been formulated. The employees, although angry and irritated by Mr. Potter's actions, remained silent, unwilling to poke their heads above the parapet in case they got shouted at or worse, fired. They simply put their heads down and muttered a no when he asked if they had a problem with that. But every hour Mr. Potter would return to see their progress, which was always surprisingly little. In truth, no one knew how to turn things around or if it was even worth it. Between discussing how to save the company, they also discussed jumping ship and taking their talents elsewhere. Yet Mr. Potter remained the fearsome figure and no one dared to speak up or leave. Each time he discovered how little they had done, he would spend the next 10 minutes shouting at them until he was red in the face. Eventually, the time came for everyone to go home, yet still they remained in the boardroom. They hurried to come up with a 10-point plan and eventually cobbled together some ideas that they thought had the strongest possibility of saving the company. But of course, almost predictably, as soon as Mr. Potter saw it, he ridiculed them and told them to do better, before wiping their hard word from the whiteboard and telling them to start again from scratch. The discontent in the room grew, yet still the team kept it under wraps. But everything started to change the next time Mr. Potter returned for an update on their progress. Once more, he exploded with anger at the apparent lack of progress and even threw his coffee cup across the room, smashing it against the wall. Suddenly, though, there was a tap on the door and an elderly cleaning lady walked in. She asked if they would be done with the room soon so she could clean it. But if they needed a little longer, she would gladly take a break and come back in a while. Many of the people weakly smiled at the elderly cleaner, their expressions reflective of the glimpses of warmth and shared in passing interactions. Though their acquaintance with her remained on a surface level, the brief conversations they had exchanged in recent times had kindled a sense of familiarity and ease. She was performing a humble job, and yet she was prepared to give valuable insight on whatever topic they were discussing at any given moment. In a sense, she had become the wise grandmother of all employees, the person they turned to when they needed some comfort and serenity. Qualities that were lacking in the corridors of a company facing bankruptcy. In that critical moment, as anxiety clouded their minds and optimism seemed to dwindle, the elderly cleaner's mere presence gave them a much-needed sense of calm reassurance. Mr. Potter, however, didn't share this sentiment and simply barked at her to come back later. The cleaning lady simply smiled and nodded, and when she caught sight of the whiteboard, the tried and defended team were working from, she said that she had a few suggestions as how to turn the company around. A few of the faces around the table lit up, more than happy for a fresh perspective to possibly give their long and tiring planning session the boost it so desperately needed. Unfortunately though, the cleaning woman had caught Mr. Potter at the wrong moment and all of his anger turned on her. He mercilessly started shouting at her and even mocked her. Up until recently, the woman had been homeless and this cleaning was her first job in a long while. Most employees knew about her situation and had always been careful not to breach the subject unless she did first. They held her in high regards for being able to turn her life around and would never dream of mocking her for her difficult past. But that didn't matter to Mr. Potter, who cruelly made snide remarks about her homeless situation. With disdain in his voice, he contemptuously claimed that he would sooner witness a cold day in hell than seek the assistance of a homeless cleaner for his company. Witnessing this atrocious behavior, discomfort further filled the room as the other individuals present subtly shifted in their seats, acknowledging the unnerving atmosphere created by Mr. Potter's latest outburst. The elderly woman's expression shifted from shock to determination as tears welled up in her eyes. 
struggling to maintain her composure in the face of Mr. Potter's relentless shouting. Although deeply affected by his hurtful words, she chose to take the high road and refrain from engaging in an argument with him. In a display of utmost professionalism, she made her way towards the board situated in the room. Ignoring the ridicule and negativity directed at her, she began to swiftly and methodically jot down a ten-point plan that held the potential to save the sinking company. With an unwavering focus, she diligently included number breakdowns, presenting a clear and concise roadmap that outlined the measures the company needed to implement in order to regain profitability and thrive once more. It was evident that her response was not rooted in spite or retaliation, but rather in a genuine desire to contribute her expertise and experience towards the company's success. Her unwavering commitment to the task at hand was met with a deep sense of admiration from those present. Countering the uncomfortable atmosphere generated by Mr. Potter's demanding behavior, unbeknownst to everyone, the elderly cleaning woman had a remarkable past that remained concealed amid her humble current occupation. Years ago, she had excelled in her studies at a prestigious business school, mastering the intricacies of entrepreneurship. Prior to facing a downturn in her fortunes, she had passionately built and managed her own thriving company, earning recognition for exceptional leadership and innovative ideas. The room fell silent as they watched the old woman write, astonished by the depth of her expertise. As Mr. Potter scrambled to retrieve a pen and paper, anxious to capture the valuable insights she had shared, he was abruptly interrupted by the old woman herself. With a knowing smile decorating her face, she swiftly erased every ounce of information meticulously inscribed on the whiteboard. Her actions left an air of mystery, hinting that the wisdom she had just imparted was to be valued not for the words themselves, but for the transformative power it contained. Mr. Potter was shocked into silence, though a few of the other people in the room shared smiles and even a little snigger. In a fit of frustration, Mr. Potter's anger once again burst forth, his voice reverberating through the room as he demanded an explanation as to why the elderly cleaner would withhold vital information during such a critical juncture, knowing full well the urgent need to salvage the floundering company. But the old cleaner greeted his fury with serenity as she breezed past them and towards the door, telling Mr. Potter it would be a cold day in hell before she helped this failing company. The elderly cleaning woman walked out of the room, and after a beat, the other tired employees around the boardroom began to follow her, with some even leaving their ID badges behind on the table in silent resignation. There was no more shouting that day. The room slowly but surely emptied as everyone followed after the wise elderly cleaner, leaving Mr. Potter alone to comprehend the impending collapse of his once-thriving company. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? How would you have felt if you were the elderly cleaning lady being belittled because of your homelessness? Would you have given Mr. Potter the answer to saving the company, or would you have left it to flounder and die? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.